when we see these animals like touch the grass for the first time or see the sun for the first time after living in these dark horrible factory farms all their lives it's just so beautiful I and mean, it makes all of the hard parts of running an animal sanctuary worth it Following his rescue, he came into my care. He was a little baby and he should have been with a mom. He should have had a mother hen to raise him. But on factory farms, chickens never even get to meet their mothers. When he came into my care, he imprinted on me and he started following me around everywhere. If I'd left him for even a second, he would start crying hysterically, even if somebody else was with him. It had to be me. He even slept in my bed. He knows his name. He'll come running if you call him. And he's just got a lot of personality. Hard to imagine how close Glenn was to death, to never having gotten to live the life that he lives now. He could have so easily ended up in a slaughterhouse screaming for his life. It breaks my heart and brings tears to my eyes to think about what would have happened. I think about how all of his brothers and sisters are just as special as him and they're no longer with us. They've all been slaughtered. Right now there are so many chickens just like him, just as special as him, being slaughtered for food, for something totally unnecessary. It just hurts my heart. I always just encourage people to, to spend time with these animals before jumping to conclusions about them because when I've spent time with chickens, I've realized just how incredible they are and how smart they are. They remember faces, they have friends, have routines and, and social structures and different calls that have different meanings. They communicate with one another. They're really no different than any human or dog. They're no different from any other creature in any way that matters. Just because they speak differently or look differently doesn't mean that their lives don't have meaning.